Hey there YouTube, this is Kristen. And um, so today I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Media has a long history of running with one angle whenever it comes to transgender people and that is transgender people are deceptive. We have the benefit of having the transgender archive here and we have we're able to look back at how news was handled about transgender people going back hundreds of years and the the narrative is always the same almost universally if the person has not yet transitioned they're being deceptive if they have transitioned then they're being deceptive about their past and from that a case is made against them and that's what we've seen exactly in the Nikki Aragus case, even though almost every single thing that's come out of Frank Mann's office, the ethically challenged lawyer has been proven false. Even though that's, those things have been proven false, it's still being reported in the media. Why? In my humble opinion, it's because those things fit the narrative that transgender people are inherently dishonest. There was a uh, New York, uh, excuse me, a Washington article, and uh, it regurgitated uh, all kinds of irrelevant issues that have been debunked already, but reported them as fact. One of the things that it reported today was that Nikki and Thomas were um, separated. They were divorcing each other. They reported it as fact. So today I want to talk to you about reality. Reality is reality is is that on the 30th, just days before Thomas Ericus died, Nikki and Thomas were at Thomas's sister's house together. You remember Thomas's sister? This one? Lies, 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 lies. Why do you say they're lying? Because she's a liar. That's why. She's just a liar. You know, everything she said was a lie. Basically, and it just disgusted us. And it was funny to me because she's just pathetic. Yeah, that's the one. Um, and then there's this. This is a contract. This is a contract signed by Thomas and Nikki Ergus. It's a lease contract. And this contract says, Nikki Page Ergus and husband Thomas Ergus III. It's initialed down here by both Nikki and Thomas. And uh, you might say, well, what, what does that mean? Well, the contract starts June of 2010 and goes until June 1st of 2011. Now, supposedly, according to the press, they were in the process of getting a divorce not hanging out at the in-laws together, not signing leases together. So this is Nikki Aragus's signature. This is Thomas Aragus's signature. Dated 5-25-2010. Another thing that I want to talk about is um, it's being falsely reported over and over and over and over and over and over and over again 
that Nikki Aragos's birth certificate identifies her as being male. The only legally recognized certificate of birth recognized by any government, in fact, identifies Nikki Aragos as female. But that's not getting any press. I guess it doesn't fit the narrative. I wonder if any of this will get any press. I wonder if that fits the narrative. I wonder why Nikki's sister-in-law hasn't come out and said, oh, you know, Nikki and Thomas, they were hanging out together as a married couple at my place, enjoying each other's company. You haven't heard that in the news, have you? I wonder why. There'll be a lot of new, there'll, there'll be a lot of emails coming out uh, soon uh, that go into detail. Nikki and Thomas writing back and forth, talking about their love for each other, their commitment to each other. But I wonder how much airtime that will get. Because it certainly doesn't fit the story. The story is, of course, that Nikki's a liar. She's been arrested. That means that she's a liar. And therefore, she doesn't deserve to be married because she's deceptive. Those trannies are always deceptive. That's the storyline that's being pushed. Certainly being pushed by Frank Mann. Except for here, and except for the Houston Press, where else have you heard that Frank Mann is um, currently being investigated by the State Bar for violations of his ethical duties to Nikki Aragus? How much airtime is that getting compared to the airtime that she was arrested but never convicted? Oh. I'm sorry, was that reported? No, I guess it wasn't. Gosh, I, that's right, because what I remember being reported was that Nikki is a felon. That's right, they put her mud shots on the television. Oh, but they, they, I guess, forgot to say that she was never convicted of those crimes doesn't fit the storyline. So I was having this back and forth conversation with a, a YouTube user who uh, has been speculating uh, about um, whether or not Thomas knew. Their speculation kind of goes like this. Well, I realized Thomas was a fire captain, but maybe he was really naive. Maybe he was deceived. Maybe he was deceiving himself. See, those types of arguments that fit this long, long-held narrative that's played in the media over and over and over and over again for centuries. is a little tiring and I'm kind of sick of it. So let's just see. You know, here we have a legal contract signed by both Nikki and Thomas identifying themselves as husband and wife after Thomas, you know, went through the marriage ceremony, the sex reassignment surgery, all of that stuff. Supposedly, they were in the process of getting a divorce. That fits a certain narrative. What narrative does this fit? Let's see if it gets any airtime. I wonder. Let's see.